Hi everyone, welcome to UPSC Tree. Uh, recently, we have conducted webinar on OPSC 2020 prelims cut off and we try to clear all the doubts. But uh, many of you could not uh, participate in the webinar and many of you written to me asking about the you know cut off and clarification and all that. So in this video, I am trying to address that those particular questions and those particular doubts that you may might have. Okay, and and uh, OPSC outdid itself and uh, created a lot of uh, questions with uh, dicey answers. So, I am trying to put lead on the controversy that is going on, okay. People are fighting, students have been fighting over A, C, B, D and all that. So, let us get into it, okay. First of all, the expected cutoff, we gathered, we try to gather data and we got somewhere around seven, 700 aspirants data and according to that, we try to, you know, uh, calculate the expected cutoff and Obviously, while we are do, trying to calculate the expected cutoff, we took many factors into account, okay, a COVID factor, UPSC versus OPSC factor and all other factors, okay, that might affect the uh, outcome of expected cutoff, number of seats, vacancy, etc., okay. So, let us look at the cutoff, unreserved male, for unreserved male it is 90 to 93, for female it is 80 to 83. So, if you are, if you belong to unreserved category and if you are a male scoring above 90, you should not worry about it. You should start your mains preparation and for female, it should be 80. If you are scoring above 80, you no need to worry at all. You should start your preparation of mains as soon as possible, okay. For ACBC, similarly, it is 86, the lower line, female 76. For SC, it is around 68, the lower line, female, it will be 60. For ST, it will be 52 and 50, okay. So, you can have a look over it and according, accordingly, if you are scoring anything above these particular lines and you belong to this particular category, then you should start preparation for mains without, you know. And if you start your preparation for your mains and unfortunately, you are not through say for one or two marks, then at least, you know, you would have used this particular time uh, productively and you will learn a lot of things. So, there is no point in wasting your time predicting or, you know, uh, predicting the cutoff or, or being anxious about it, okay. So, we all have been aspirants in some point of time and we know how it happens, okay. So, I would advise not to waste your time anymore, okay. And next, the controversy that the students have been fighting, I will try to address those questions. This question reached to me through telegram, whatsapp and mail. So, I will try to address those particular questions only. So, let us look at the questions. First one is Niti Aayog, who is the governing council of Niti Aayog. The Error free answer is Prime Minister and all its all the Chief Minister. If you look at the other option, all Chief Minister and Lieutenant Governor, uh, Delhi is a capital territory and it has a Lieutenant Governor as well as a Legislature and CM. So, in that case, the Lieutenant Governor will not be part of the Governing Council of Niti Aayog. So, in that case, all Chief Minister and Lieutenant Minister is a wrong answer. The perfect answer for this one is Prime Minister and all Chief Minister, okay. Second one. Reserve held by RBI above the statutory limit. People are fighting over cash reserve and excess reserve. The we have done a lot of research on this, and the perfect answer for this one is excess reserve. Okay. Then Sisu Kisor Tarun. Uh, again, people some people have marked Mudra. Some people have gone for the uh, Sidbi option. The perfect uh, the correct one is. Mudra for this. <coughs> then poverty line. Poverty line, if you look at the question, it talks about uh, nutrition exclusively. There is only one committee. The key word is exclusive. And the answer to this question is allog committee because this committee gave the poverty line based on nutritional values exclusively. Other committees might have included nutritional uh, aspect, but they might have taken into other aspect into consideration as well, say income and all that, okay. So, nutrition exclusively dealt by ALAG committee. Contribution of primary sector to GDP, many people have, uh, might have come across the news that, you know, agriculture is, uh, in COVID times, agriculture is uh, been a boost to, giving a boost to the economy and all. But when we talk about primary sector, one key important aspect that students misinterpret is that it is not only agriculture, it also about fishery, it is also about mining, okay. Anything or any activity that is related, related to land essentially belongs to 
primary sector okay so and and no student can no aspirant can you know remember all the data throughout the years so as india is a growing economy the trend is going to be that the contribution of primary sector to the gdp will decline over time okay service sector will and and manufacturing will dominate going forward so declining the answer is declining over the years and i would suggest when you come across this kind of questions you should not think too much it is asking about a general trend or tendency not about you know the statistics as per se okay hypsometer hypsometer the answer is boiling point okay the answer is boiling point and then pushyamitra sunga and brihadarth uh, students have been fighting over inscription and harsha charita i think the right answer to this one is harsha charita although inscription is also a right answer and opsc might go for uh, both the answers as correct option opsc has done it in the past it might do it again okay but the most probable answer is harsha charita dekan education society again people are those who have marked rana day are fighting teeth and teeth and nail to you know to make their answer correct but the answer is none of the above it is in the book don't refer any source for history you don't refer any wikipedia source or anything try to find a re perfect resource or authentic resource such as book we have a debate on this with a student as well so deccan education policy it is not run ad it is uh, the answer the correct answer for this one will be none of the above okay ranade might have inspired it but he was not the founding father of deccan educational education society hope that makes you clear and if you need uh screenshot of the book or anything i can send it to you you can reach out to me okay ha huh. block mountains <coughs> if you look at the the question is erroneous if you look at all the options the bhojes mountain the salt uh, range and all that and western ghat all are block mountains okay however most probable answer is western ghat although i think opsc you know will cut this question and because this question is erroneous the options are erroneous then next one demographic transition for demographic transition it talks about you know the ans right answer is stage 2 because in stage 1 it is a traditional society traditional tribal communities uh, community driven society okay so they don't go for uh, intensive agriculture intensive agriculture will be will be is a feature that comes in stage 2 okay and you can check rostos stages of growth rostos stages of growth that is where the question came from okay it is stage 2 that is the correct answer no need to worry about it and uniform civil code uniform civil code uh, student have been fighting over this one some are saying cultural uh, integration some are saying national unity and some are saying you know uh, some are saying welfare of minorities but the correct answer for this one is national unity uniform civil code if you look at the debates and constitutional debates specifically and ambedkar debates and all it was not meant for welfare of minority otherwise if it was meant for welfare of minority minority would not have been against it okay and second uh, cultural integration cultural integration essentially means that we are disregarding the cultural diversity of the country okay so ucc is about national unity and then there is a question on comp competition and and rational choice and competition the keyword in that question is competition and when there is a competition it's not a rational choice theory it is a game theory you can read about it it is part of geography syllabus as well okay and then 13 delegated legislation uh, delegated legislation if you look at it the options we have is lok sabha rajya sabha supreme court and all that the delegated legislation is controlled by parliament and judiciary so if you look at the options parliament essentially entails lok sabha rajya sabha and the president so we don't have the perfect answer over there and judiciary it is supreme court so the most probable answer is supreme court most probable okay although although 
OPC might go ahead with Lok Sabha as well as Supreme Court as though both of them can be a correct option. Okay. So I hope this clears all the controversy that is surrounding the OPC prelims and we have we had a lot of debate on these things. Any other question that you need clarification, you can reach out to me. And and many of the we have launched our uh, test series, essay, mains, geography, and uh, uh, history. And many many of the students have uh, written to us and been asking different kinds of questions. So in the next video, I will try to clarify all those doubts that you might have for essay, mains, geography, and history test series that we are going to conduct. Okay. And I hope this clarifies all the doubts you have you had. Okay. And and thank you.